Hey guys, so today we're starting off this vlog a little late and not in my favorite place. We're at the hospital. Eloise has been admitted. Um, she came back RSV positive. <sighs> so heartbreaking. I took her into her pediatrician's office this morning because she had a really rough night with a lot of congestion and just not feeling well and she came back RSV positive and with her being so little they wanted to go ahead and admit her and I had to drive almost an hour away because our local children's hospital was fully booked so I'm all the way like an hour and a half away with her which is fine I've it's been a roller coaster of emotions today because nobody wants to see their kids sick and i feel guilty at the same time because she's so little and then maybe i've exposed her i know ethan's in school he brings back a ton of things um i have been having to quickly recover and get back into my normal day-to-day -day routine meaning get groceries run errands so i don't know if i should have just stayed home more or what but i think blaming myself is not gonna there's no solution there like i'm just gonna torture myself but right now she seems pretty content she was actually really really sick earlier where I, we thought we were gonna have to call an ambulance but her breathing is steady she doesn't have a fever right now she had a fever before we came in but right now she doesn't have one so they're not gonna like um put an iv on her or anything like that but she is admitted for the night let me show you guys her room so here is where you come on in and then they put this here so I can pump and then she would sleep in there but I was keeping her here with me and it's a pretty tiny room they did bring me lunch so I was just eating because I haven't eaten and like I didn't even have breakfast this morning that's how quick I, I left the house here she is my love sweetheart so sad so they told me they want me to bottle feed her um just so they know what exactly she's drinking so here we had two ounces she drank two ounces and then i have another two ounces that i'm gonna store away for her and yeah that's what we're doing i did bring my haka but they won't obviously she was hungry so i did use the electric pump this thing is like amazing but i've heard it's like 500 dollars or more um but it pumps it pumped in like i pumped in five minutes and i got four ounces out of it normally it takes me like 15 minutes to get that amount out so it was really good and i'm gonna be staying with her tonight my mom is with the kids and she'll be staying with them overnight because obviously sebastian works and he doesn't get off till like 6 p.m and then he's gonna come straight over here to see eloise and then he has to go to work in the morning again so he can't really do anything about it. There's no point in him missing work. But I have to store this away. They said I could use my own bags and they'll store it for me. So that's good. Uh, I did just finish eating a little bit. They brought this like turkey that wasn't that great. But I was so hungry I didn't care. I ate all the carrots. And this thing here I'm not a fan of. And I do not like sweet potato. And then some fruit that I'll have in a little bit. Um, but like I said she didn't drink all of this. I'm going to wash these parts real quick. So it's been like an hour or two and she just fell asleep. I laid her in the bassinet and now I'm gonna finally eat my fruit. It's been a few hours. I'm about to pump now. But first I'm eating the salad that I got. I was watching a little bit of Hulu. But I'm gonna pump in a little bit because I feel like I need to pump. The pediatrician did come in to see her, or the doctor, the pediatrician on call, and also a breathing therapist, I think, or a respiratory therapist. Oh my god, instead of breathing therapist, a respiratory therapist. They did suction her and she hated it. I hated it. It was so bad. But it's like this huge suction that, like, it's, I guess it takes out a lot of the mucus and all of that. And that really helped her breathing. Uh, no fever. 
thank God. And also, um, her oxygen levels are good. So right now the doctor just wants to monitor her and says that if she seems to be doing well, we can go home tomorrow. Um, so he doesn't really see why she should stay too long. But we just are trying to figure out if she's at the peak of the RSV or if it's the, like, if it's the very beginning. So he's he thinks she's on day three of it. We just didn't know a few days ago. Um, or I just thought she had a cold because that's what I was told that she had a cold So we are just monitoring her and hoping that she doesn't get a fever because if she does get fever then we need to do blood work and um, Look at her urine and all of that. He did say she may need a spinal tap if worse comes to worse, which is what I really really want to avoid Really want to avoid like just the thought of it <sighs> gives me like so much anxiety it makes me want to cry but he says that she's low risk for that and that he really doesn't think she's gonna need it but he did want to point that out to me and i hope she doesn't get it because i was reading a lot of things about it which i know that's not good but i just really hope she doesn't need that but yeah so i'll keep you guys updated i'm sorry that this vlog is gonna be mainly me just talking but that's just the way it's going to be because I'm not going to be filming the doctors and all of that because I want to respect their privacy and I don't want to have a f camera on their face. Like, who would do that? So, yeah, I'm just going to sit here, watch a little bit of Hulu and Pump and wait till she wakes up to feed her again. So somebody just woke up and ate. Oh, honey. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. Oh, you're fine. Just gave her a bottle. It's okay. Oh, mama. And she's a little bit gassy right now. She just pooped. So I just gave her a bottle. Um, like I said, I don't know if I, I think I said this earlier. I don't even remember what I've said to you guys. But they're having me pump my milk. That way we know what she's eating. So she just had two and a half ounces. And she seems to be pretty content. <laughs> right, my love? Right, you're content and you're happy. I'm waiting for Sebastian to get here to bring me some food because it's been a few hours and I'm hungry now. And all I have is graham crackers for kids. Which, I mean, I'll take. I'm going to be wrong. But I need food. <laughs> and she's looking so cute. She's falling asleep again. That's all she's been doing is sleeping, of course. She's not feeling too good. They had to suction her again so she could eat because she was having a really hard time eating. I hate it. Every time they do it, she cries so much because I guess it's really uncomfortable. But I'm just glad that she is feeling a little bit better. So no fever and her oxygen levels are doing good. So, we're just keeping her in observation for now. But that's good because I'm ho really hoping they don't have to, like, you know, uh, draw her blood or anything like that unless they have to. So, yeah. Hey guys, so it's 11 p.m. and I eat. Sebastian's with Eloise for a minute. Well, I go to the cafeteria, cafeteria real quick. Oh my gosh, I can't talk. So, I'll talk to you guys in a minute. guys so I'm gonna end the vlog Eloise is asleep right now and I'm gonna probably lay down watch some TV probably watch some YouTube for a little bit and go to sleep it's been quite the day but it's been a little rough but she's doing better and I'll keep you guys updated um I'm sure by the time you guys see this she'll be better I'm really praying she will I'm trying to find where to turn off the lights um 
but do keep bringing her thoughts and prayers so she can get better as soon as possible. This is not completely shut down. Oh, here we go. So I'll see you guys in my next video.